our console output, which is the result of our dot show action, we can see that there are column names, which are displayed here in the first row, but they are not corresponding to the column names, which are actually, actually specified in the CSV file. That's because <coughs> the CSV loader doesn't interpret the first row in the CSV files file as the column names. And that's what we want to fix now. So I will take you now to the official Spark documentation again. So in here, we also have the um, programming guides. And here's one um, item for using Spark SQL. And in here, there are also data sources documented. And here you can always come to look up options which are available for our data sources. Now here is the option or here's the CSV file loader. And here we can see all the options which we can specify while reading a CSV file. Now we use the dot option method to pass them into the reader. And here we can see, for example, that there is one uh, specifying a or is called header and is false by default. And this one specifies whether the first row should be interpreted as the column names or not. Now, how can we use that? We call the dot option method on the CSV um, reader, which is the result of the CSV dot read. And in here, we can pass in the option we just saw. So we say the first, the first parameter is the key and the second is the value. So here we simply specify header and then true. So we basically tell Spark that it should interpret the first row as a header. And if I execute this now, the first row in our printed data frame should be the correct column names. Let's wait until this one is finished. So it takes some time to execute this every time. So now we can see the result here and the first, so the column names are corresponding to the names which are specified in the first row of our CSV file.